your product time, Lady Ada. All right, new, new, new. All right, let's just roll into this. Let's go, what is this? Okay, we have um, switches with wires. This is like a little tactile switch that we have, and this one has three wires. I'd like the button that we have, and like the two wire version, um, this is kind of meant for like wearables or projects where you want like some kind of button hanging out of something or attached to something and you don't have, you know, it's not breadboard friendly. It's designed to be like soldered into PCB or something. Um, this one alternates which pins connect to the middle pins. So it's kind of like um, a toggle switch, like a, a single throw, wait, single, single pole dual throw. Yeah, single pole dual throw. So it could, the, the middle one connects to the left or the right. And every time you push the button, it switches. Okay. Do you want to look at any other photos or? This is a nice photo. It comes with some wires, a little button. Oh, it's good for like projects of all sorts. Our, sing our single button on off switch is really popular. It's going to be useful if you want to like switch battery source to select a mode or something. Okay. Next up. Little bits out of this world. Little bits. This is Astronauts new... love them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely photo. This is a uh, collaboration between NASA, I think NASA Ames, and Little Bits. Uh, Little Bits is a lovely open source hardware electronics learning kit project company, also out of New York City. Uh, I have a deer, uh, basically designed these cool little Legos for electronics, as some people may say. Um, and this kit comes with a whole bunch of projects where you can create and uh, design, uh, you know, space-like technologies, um, like a little rover. Uh, there's one of the projects that make a little rover that can can grab stuff and um, uh, uh, sound um, transmission system, so you can basically pretend like you're transmit transmitting audio or video back and forth from the moon or to Mars and back. Um, there's like, I think like 25 different projects. Sorry, there's 12, 12 bits and 10 projects that were uh, created in collaboration with NASA Goddard, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. And um, there's also like hundreds of other projects on the little bit site, of course, that you can do. So I think this is kind of nice. It's like if you're if you have a kid or an adult and you're really into space technology, and who isn't? Space is awesome. Um, you can pick up this kit and follow along and make your own creative space technologies. Okay. Next up, we have. Uh, I, I I may have doubled up the images. I, I don't know, but maybe you can help me out as we get through these because there's some of them. Our, uh, this is a yeah, support rail. We actually talked a little bit about this last yeah. week because we had the other unsupported rail. Uh, these are the supported rails, and um, this is really good for doing like motion control. Some people uh, were saying how they wanted to build a, um, uh, a, a like that camera slider that we showed earlier, and the yeah. camera mounts on it and slides back and forth. Really good for getting certain video effects or time up photography. So these are little um, rail kind of mount modules, and they have the ball bearings in them. Um, as you can see in this photo, and the ball bearings are held in place. And you see how it's a sort of T slot, shape, the keyhole shape. That keyhole fits perfectly with um, the railing. Yes. And yeah, the railing also has like a matching sort of keyhole slot. And you see it's kind of grooved. And so what this means is that um, the single uh, rail is supported and sits very snugly. It actually has a little rubber gasket. If it sits very snugly, onto the railing and um, like I have one here and it's a little bit too big to show on the overhead so I'll just sh I'll show it here. Um, once you slide, you can slide as many as you want on these. This moves back and forth fairly smoothly. Um, you know, it, it's not going to be because it's supported like you can actually put something on it and it's not going to shift back and forth too much. It has a little bit of a grab to it so it's not like super super smooth, you know, slick like, like if I turn it upside down um, it's not going to move like I have to actually move it. But with a stepper motor or other kind of a linear mo motion control system, um, you know, you can definitely move something in back and forth. These are similar looking to really high end uh, rails. It's the same kind of technology that's used in like high end equipment, like, you know, our pick and place. The gantry uses a, a similar system to these. Um, but just to, to keep people's uh, expectations realistic, this is like the $30 version, not the $300 to $500 version. So it's not going to be like super smooth, slick, precision. Uh, I mean, it's extremely good quality for the price. And for hobbyist robotics and CNC, it's, it's totally excellent and great um, and sneezy. Uh, and, and we can be allergic to it, but um, yeah. it's not, you know, just don't expect like, oh, you know, I thought it was going to be comparable to like the high win, high tech uh, railing systems that cost hundreds of dollars. 
Uh, and we have two sizes of platforms, like a smaller one, and then this one's a larger one, a 6 outlet warrant. Uh, that's the difference between the two. Yeah, they, there the was, thumbnails look very close. They look very <laughs> similar. One's a little bit bigger. I'm not actually even sure why they offer both, but because they were like, it's one of the things when there's something system, I'm like, well, let's just carry both and see which people like. Yeah. Um, but they both have mounting holes. Uh, really great for robotics projects of any kind. And um, a little bit more expensive than the uh, railings that are round, but because it's supported, you only need one. Whereas the other railings, it, it moves back and forth. There's looseness to it. And so you have to have two if you want to have like something steady. So, you know, two options for your linear motion railing. But I really like this stuff. It's really, it's really great. Maybe we'll make a camera yeah, we slider. <coughs> yeah. Okay. A future project. Okay, next up. Wow, we're running out of time, Lady Ada. Yeah, we're going to move on. Okay. Coin holders. We had JST connectors, uh, breakouts last week. This week we have a CR1220, which is a 12 millimeter coin cell uh, battery holder. This one has a switch on it, and we also have a version without a switch. So this is switched version, and then if you move forward, uh, that's also the switch. Also with a switch, no switch. So we have a version with switch and without a switch. Uh, price is a little bit different. Um, the switch version, you know, basically if you want to have an on off for your little project. This is good switch. for like if you need, if you're making a project that uses no a coin cell, it's, they're really hard to breadboard, so this kind of makes it breadboard friendly. Yeah. And the switch of course <clears throat> is super <throat> handy. Uh, really good for extremely low power projects. We're doing some low power project stuff, so that's why we wanted to have these. We actually developed these for in-house use, but now they're available to you. Uh, yeah our wonderful family of electronics geniuses. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have a 12 millimeter coin cell. We're gonna be coming out with a 20 millimeter this week. So if you wanna use tw 20 millimeter CR2032s, uh, it's hold on like a couple days and we'll get those into the store as well. Okay. That's nice and mounting holes too. That's yeah, very handy. all right. Last up, um, we have the Gawkin kits. These are uh, well known, uh, science for adults. These are well -loved. Um, called MOOCs. They're books plus the kit. Yeah, we and actually, uh, we, we, when we were in J Tokyo, Japan, a long time ago, we actually went yeah. and visited the, their factories where they make it, it's outside of Tokyo. Yeah. And uh, they're famous for having like a monthly project, um, you know, the entire company of like, it was like at least 100 people work yeah. on making these really beautiful project plus magazine. And Make was actually kind of interested in this kind of style as well. Yeah. So and um, I have a couple of the, the projects here. We're, we're putting them in. We actually got like every single one, yeah, but we, we didn't take photos of all of them yet. And we're also gonna take photos of the assembled ones. So this is just a preview. If there's one that you particularly like, uh, chances are we're gonna be putting it in soon. But if there's one that you already know about, you can pick one up now. Um, like for yeah. example, this is the planetarium. So yeah, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna turn off this camera. I'm gonna go here. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna turn off the lights. And well, I'm gonna screw up everything, but I'm, I'm still gonna do it. You can kind of see the light. I mean like, you want to try to shine a shine a light on something? Okay, hold on. Yeah, Let me take off this. This is also good. distracting. Well, so, you can, yeah. yeah, you can shine it on on you, and you can probably see good. the stars. Oh yeah, you can see stars on my face. Yeah. So this is a planetarium. I'm, also, I'm just made out of dark, so maybe I can. No, I am, I'm absorbing all the light. I can't do it. Um, you can see them on my neck. Uh, yeah. So this is a planetarium. It has a little bulb in it. It acts like a point source, and then this plastic is actually um, etched with. Uh, an actual planetary map. Like it's actually a, a star map. It's yeah. not just like, oh, we like made up something. They actually went to um, like a Japanese uh, star observational mapping place thing, <laughs> and um, they they mapped it onto this uh, dodecahedron. And so when you actually put this in your room and you can um, dial in at the bottom here, you can dial in what the uh, month and year that you want to emulate, simulate. Yeah. And then this shows you what the northern sky looks like on that date. So this is it's just like a scientifically accurate. It's a cool it's a cool kit for kids. Anatomically correct for and it looks yeah. and there's we'll have a photo of a darkened room. It it looks beautiful. Um, yeah. and you can also put an LED in it. Just needs a couple of batteries. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then another one that we have put together. We didn't put them all. We they're they're like quite an ordeal. Yeah. Thing. This is the walking one. I don't know if we put it in the store yet. We didn't put this one in the store. This we'll is the, the um oh, the, I think this is super bright. Well, these are the this is the Strand Beast. Yeah. Uh, it, um, inspired, I think they worked with uh, Theo Jansen. He, you know, he made the um, the uh, walkers that go on the beach. Um, and this is a version. Yeah, I can actually show you too here. Watch this. I want to see it walk? What you can do is you can turn it like this. This is if the if the fan were to be moving fast. Sorry, I had it going before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. I'll just I'll yeah. spin this. This is fine. 
um, I'm gonna spin it really fast so you can see how it's walking. And um, so you put it outside where it's windy yeah. and it will walk like a crab. Yeah, I had a walking before, so let me. Uh, All right, here. What happened? Here, <laughs> well, I, had a, I had a walking before, I swear. But something's changed. I don't know, maybe they, maybe they changed yeah. it. Okay. Well, well they put the go. rubber band in, maybe that affected yeah, it. Yeah, I'll get it going later. Okay, well. We'll check the instructions. Yeah. And um, almost all of these, there's only one kit that doesn't have English instructions. All the other ones have had have these the instructions. For all of them. Yeah, we have P the, the books are Japanese, so it's great if you want to practice reading your kana or kan your kanji. But if you um, aren't really interested in, in learning how to read Japanese, um, although it makes it more fun if you're like an adult because you have to follow along with this like the instructions and they're not in English. Um, yeah. We also have PDFs that you can view or print out that have the translation in yeah. English. Mixed up. Okay, so we'll That's be it. showing a better photo. We'll, we'll have videos we'll and photos of all these. Too, yeah. This is a preview yeah. coming soon. Uh, lovely Gakken kits. I think okay. they make great stuff. And it's also like not all electronics. Some it's electronics, yeah. some it's mechanical. Okay, that was the end of new products, lady. Whew, got through it.